in a world where storytelling knows no bounds. A revolution in filmmaking, introducing the AI cinema camera, where technology meets creativity, unmatched clarity, unparalleled precision, capturing every moment exactly as you see it. From the chaos of the city to the serenity of nature, conquer every challenge, seamless integration, real-time feedback, empowering filmmakers to push the boundaries. Redefine your vision. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little trailer that I put together for the camera that we're going to talk about today. It was just for fun because I just started using Artlist, a new AI voice generator. And if you guys want me to make a video on how that works and how good or bad it is, I would be glad to do it. I personally think it's really good so far. So I put that trailer together. But we're not here to talk about Artlist, okay? We're here to talk about a new cinema camera that has just burst onto the scene and that is really intriguing, especially somebody like me who likes to use a wide range of different tools to constantly test my creativity. I think this is a camera that I'm definitely gonna wanna get my hands on. Now, before we start talking about the camera, do me a huge favor, guys. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Even if you don't like the video, it really helps me out. So the camera we're talking about today is basically the first AI integrated cinema camera and that is the CMR M1 which stands for camera model one on the surface this camera doesn't look attractive to most people but for me personally I do think it's attractive because I just like vintage things if you've watched any of my instax videos you know that I like older cameras even to mix in with my modern high quality projects if you will so this design to me looks really neat and would look really good on that workbench over there. It's pretty important to say that they're not selling this camera right now. It's more of a demoing product that they're testing out and, and probably uh, working on. But hopefully, eventually, they will be selling it. And I am going to be reaching out to these companies, finding out who I need to talk to because I want to get my hands on it, even for a day just to play with it um, because it looks like a really neat tool. So for this video, just so you guys know, I am going to be referencing an article from my friends at Cine D. This article is by Omri and it's, it's very good. I highly recommend you taking a look. But the camera is actually made by two companies. It's a collaboration project by Special Guest X and First Avenue Machine. I'm not really sure what these two companies do. There is a hyperlink on this article if you want to check it out and learn more about them. But they basically come together to integrate AI and machine learning into the cinema camera, the body itself, rather than having to do it in post. That way you're getting results in real time. So the camera uses what's called a FLIR sensor, which stands for front looking infrared. It's like that, you know, hunting scope type look that you see in movies and stuff like that. I'm, I'm guessing the reason they use that is because in order to differentiate people and animals in the frame, in my opinion, it seems like it would make sense to have something that shows, you know, infrared so you can tell the difference between inanimate objects and say human beings or animals. So that to me kind of does make sense. It would probably make the AI better if it had that data. And it comes with different lures, which are in the form of what looks like a visa card. <laughs> Funny enough, it uses those chips that we use for, you know, banking and tap to pay and stuff like that. Um, but it runs also off of stable diffusion, which is industry standard, I guess, when it comes to a lot of programs that are, you know, generating AI video. So in terms of the specs, this is something that really surprised me. The resolution maxes out at 1368 by 768 and it will only shoot at 12 frames a second. Now it's important to note that the camera's design is actually a nod to an older film camera, uh, actually Kodak's first 16 millimeter film camera. I can't remember the exact model, I'll put it in on the screen right now, but that being said, it's kind of a nod to that because 100 years ago, that changed the world of filmmaking as we know it because it was making film available for consumers. With these specs being very overwhelming from you know, the mirrorless and the cinema cameras that we're using now, that can turn a lot of people off, I think. But for me, I've always liked to integrate just unique things into my projects. And I think this is something that I would use a ton. I'm already using AI to generate a lot of different things or not even just generate, but flesh out different creative shots or things I want. And I've actually yet to use AI video 
for anything because I just feel like it's completely disconnected. Whereas if I had this camera and I was like actually able to do what I want to do creatively, but then get that to add it something on top of it that feels way more creative to me than just making videos with prompts i'm actually pointing the camera at something that's interesting that i might have a vision for that can be transformed into something else if the stylistic component of it can be really honed in to where it's not doing all that crazy morphing and it's staying with a particular style at that exact moment I think this camera would be awesome and I would love to see like a Wes Anderson style feature film shot on one of these Lauras and one of these cameras uh, because I think that it would, you know, somebody like Wes Anderson gives their films that flair, that otherworldly flair and he might be the only one who can do it. So it would be nice to see and fun to see I think if, if somebody was to, you know, make a film with this camera. But I think this camera's going to have a place in the future. Obviously, AI is like taking over the world. So just something to keep on your radar. I'm going to try to get one of these cameras. I don't know how, but we're going to do it. We can do it together. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content where I just bring you, you know, fun camera news, not the boring stuff. Uh, I'm not your guy for like dynamic range tests and stuff like that. It's more about like how can we use the abundance of tools that we have to create you know just unique art and that's kind of how i approach these videos so if you like that please do like and subscribe to the video it would help me out we're almost at a thousand subscribers so let's get over the line baby we got this hit the like hit the subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace